I was an altar boy growing up. Uh, I, you know, I, I was for a while. I started in the candle holding position and then was promoted to the cross bearer, who is sort of the, you know, he's, he's sort of like the shift manager of the altar boys, keep the other boys in line, make sure that the communion uh, remains sacred and is not desecrated in some way by the boys. You gotta watch out for that. The boys, the boys, it depends on the boys, it depends on the boys that you're with, but some of them can be quite uh, devilish. Anyway, my boys never got out of line and God smiled upon me thusly. I was not molested, uh, nor chased. Chased like chased. Chased. Yeah. With a D. The, the, the most vaguely, there was a vague, there was just one thing that was maybe vaguely, just vaguely a hint of something, a whiff of weirdness. It was at the very beginning, when you first became an altar boy at my church, the priest brought you uh, into the into the back, into the sacristy, and he brought you to a, a closet with a sliding door, and he opened the door, and there's all these altar boy robes hanging on a, on a rack. Then he turns around, and he looks at you for a bit, just took a took a deep breath, sort of took you in a bit, if you would, just and then he says you're an eleven and then he turned around and he grabbed the, the size eleven robe and he hold it up to you and kind of just admire you know, there's like this other guy in the room, kind of like a, a fat guy with, who's balding and like big glasses. And like to him, he's like, I always know. I always know. You know, he's talking to the other guy. I always get it right on the first try. I always can get a boy's size. So that was the only thing. It's really, you know, it's not that bad. It's just a little, you know, just a little, little something, a little taste of it just at the very beginning. But uh, nothing, nothing after that. It was basically fine. It was good. Like I said, got to be boss of the boys, got to bear the cross, a.k.a. I was Jesus, a.k.a. I was the man, the main man. Everybody going to mass sees me coming down the aisle, I'm bearing the cross, and they're like, that's the guy. That's the guy. He's the one. I remember from the story, the guy with the cross, that's the one we like. We're going to talk to him afterwards. I did very well. I did very well in those years. I was not chased. Mm -hmm.